I'm going to show you how you can invest in real estate from anywhere in the world for less than it costs to buy a Kia. Joanna from Boston, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and this is the show where we work together one on one to uh, build, start, grow your real estate portfolio, right? And my client today, Joanna, is an investor from Boston, okay? Joanna, you bought the 10 pack from me. We currently are working on this is your second video. This is actually episode 199 of this show. So thank you, Joanna, for uh, being part of the show. And thank you, everybody else, for continuing to uh, purchase more shows, right? We're uh, getting close to 200 very, very quickly, right? We've done a lot of shows here in 2020. Now, Joanna, the other show you and I did, I found you a very low-risk property, right? Because your thing is you want nice properties, low-risk. You don't want to deal with, like, crazy bad tenants. Totally understandable. Uh, unfortunately, we actually got outbid on that one. However, I've got another one for you, and it's super cheap, right? So anybody else who's watching this right now, watching Joanna's episode, trying to learn how to invest in real estate, like I set up at the top of the show, I could help you invest in real estate from wherever you are, right? Joanna's in Boston. I'm in Cleveland. Anybody else you could be in. California, New York, Texas, it doesn't matter. I can help you buy real estate, invest in real estate for less than it costs to buy a Kia, right? And I'm going to show you how using Joanna's real deal. And check this out, right? This is Kia, Kia.com. By the way, Kia is not like sponsoring this show or anything. It was just, they're pretty cheap cars, right? And it's the first thing I thought of, right? So like this one, 17490 then it goes up from there. 21, 23, 24, 26, 31, right? So this is like Kia's like six main cars or whatever, right? So I said you could do this for less than the cost of a Kia. So let's go with the sole price, right? $17,490, and that's like the starting price, y'all. You know how it is when you buy a car, right? Like by the time you go in there and like, you know, put the shit in there, like automatic windows and all that crap, I'm sure you're way over seventeen nine, but whatever, 17490 is the benchmark, okay? I'm going to show you how to invest in real estate using a real deal for less than 17 Gs, okay? Hold me to that. The property that I've got for you, Joanna, 10405 Homeworth, Garfield Heights, okay? This has been on the market for 40 days at a price of 79900 Three beds, two baths. Now, it's tenant occupied, so we don't have very many photos. That is not anything to be alarmed about. It does look fairly nice outside. Okay, it's a pretty decent home. Now, the fact that there's no photos, don't freak out. That is, you know, par for the course, okay? It's very difficult to get photos on these when tenants live there, right? A lot of real estate agents, you know, this is listed by an agent out of Russell Real Estate. They don't work with rentals very often, and, you know, when they do, the tenants don't like people bothering them at their houses, right? They don't want a bunch of looky-loos coming in there. And, hey, we got coronavirus going on right now, so that just, like, makes that even worse. So uh, we don't exactly know what's going on from that respect, but that is not usually the biggest deal to me because when they're occupied, I know we're going to need to do a turnover renovation anyway. And this one is currently occupied, right? Eight ninety five a month, ten thousand seven hundred forty a year. Now, we know that this thing is currently occupied. We also know that you know the color of the wall or the kind of carpet or this or that is not the most important thing to us because we're trying to buy this, pick up some cash flow now, and then when eventually when this tenant does turn over, you're gonna need to do some work to this anyway, right? There's no scenario. It doesn't matter what this thing looks like today in relation to your next turnover because you're gonna do a turnover every single time a tenant moves out, right? You're never gonna have it set up where you just go in there and you just sweep up and then you get a new tenant. That's, that's 
pretty much never going to happen. So that is not the proper expectation. But that doesn't mean we're going to fly blind when we make our offer. We're, of course, going to make it contingent on more due diligence, right? We're going to want to get a third-party inspector in there to check everything out under a fine-tooth comb. And if there's any issues, we're going to renegotiate that price. In addition, this is in the city Garfield Heights, okay? Garfield Heights has what's called the point of sale. If you go ahead and pause this video right now in the show notes below, I've got another video that explains the point of sale process. There is a lot of cities in the Cleveland market like Garfield Heights that have this point of sale process. So going forward with this video, everyone who's watching, I'm going to assume you know what I'm talking to because you should have watched that video if you haven't already heard me talk about point of sale. Now, with that, we have our own inspection, and then we're going to have the city point of sale inspection. That is two sets of eyes going in there. And with this offer, I want to make this contingent on that, our own home inspection, and a clear point of sale. So I don't want to see any point of sale violations, right? So what I'd like to have you offer, Joanna, even though it's listed at $79,900, I think the real price here is $60,000, okay? Now, at a $60,000 price with eight ninety five dollars a month coming in, Pulling up the chart, you can see our typical average expenses, okay? I anticipate us spending approximately $579 a month on average to operate this property. That's $316 a month or $3,792. Now, you might be like, what the hell, dude? You just wasted a bunch of my time talking about, like, Kia's, and you got the Kia website out, right? $17,490. I said I can get you a deal for less than that. I want you to pay 60K. Of course, we're going to finance it, guys. That's what we do, right? Real estate. That's what's so awesome about real estate investing. We could finance these deals, right? 30-year loan, fixed interest loan, low interest loan. Interest rates are some of the cheapest they've ever been, right? So we're going to have a bank pay for 75% of this property. Joanna, you're only going to pay for a quarter of that. So I'm going to have you bring in 15 grand get you a lender to bring in the other 45 after it all shakes out that should be a 10.2 percent cash on cash return so with this particular property if we could pick it up at sixty thousand dollars that's going to give you a average annual return of 10.2 percent as far as the neighborhood goes i know you want nice neighborhoods this is a b class you know c plus b minus neighborhood so it's going to be you know it's a it's a working class neighborhood it's a rental neighborhood but it's one of the nicer ones i'm not pushing you into the ghetto i don't anticipate you being uh or at least your property rather being featured on our tenants from hell show who's you know who's to say that yeah i can't guarantee that won't happen but with a property like this it's it's unlikely and as far as the price goes i don't see it moving at 79.9 because this agent they can't sell it to anybody who wants to live there because they already got a tenant there as far as other investors, they don't have all that much information to go off of. They like to see the photos, see what's going on. I personally have done so many of these deals, and like I know how this all pans out, that I don't see that being the biggest deal in the world. Um, but I think other buyers are, are going to shy away from that. And then lastly, I happen to actually know uh, the seller of the home. Okay, He's actually a business partner of mine in Black Tie Title. So I've seen his work before. So he usually puts together uh, pretty decent properties. So I'm guesstimating... You know, I can't guarantee it, right? I haven't uh, spoke to him about this deal specifically. I'm not working for him in any capacity. I'm working for you, right? He's listed it uh, with an agent at a Russell, okay? He's, he's, he's a title company owner, so he's got relationships everywhere with other real estate agents, not just myself. So I'm not working for him, but, you know, I've seen his work throughout the years. I know what he does. I have you know, good authority to assume that we're going to get a pretty fairly decent property. And I think 60 K would be the price because I think, you know, other things in the market, other people probably don't know all that. I feel like I got a little bit of inside info. So I think that, you know, he might be jonesing for an offer. And I think, you know, we could be the people that come in and give it to him. So 60 K is my target. That said, if you had to pay 65,000 for this property, I think that would be a pretty good price too. You know, 65, 66, 67 is about where I would want to see you top top it out. I don't want to see you pay anymore. I don't think it's worth 79.9. I think that's too high because the rent is too low. Now, if he already had the tenant paying 1,000 a month, I would be comfortable, you know, going up to 70k, but he didn't. He put him in there at 8.95 a month. Uh, just so you know though, there's a little bit of meat on the bone here for you because in the future 
Okay, in the future, what we want to do is we want to target the Section 8 program because we should have no issue with a three-bed, two-bath home getting you a Section 8 tenant at 1000 a month. Now, again, I know you want good quality tenants, uh, and some people have the misconception, okay, that Section 8 tenants are going to be inherently worse than cash bank tenants. I don't buy into that. My opinion is the neighborhood is going to produce for you a certain type of tenant. In this particular neighborhood, my opinion is the tenants are manageable. The tenants are pretty easy to deal with. Uh, but I prefer to have a Section 8 tenant because I know that income is guaranteed. And I don't typically see too much differences between a Section 8 tenant and a cash paying tenant in a particular neighborhood, right? Like in this particular neighborhood, we generally see more stable tenants than we do see in like a D-class neighborhood, whether they're cash or Section 8, right? So a person on Section 8 interested in this particular neighborhood, I would consider them about the same as a cash bank tenant. So, like, I just, I feel like a lot of investors out there, they just think all Section 8 tenants are going to be bad. I, I, I don't think it. I think it's literally based on the neighborhood. The neighborhood itself is, in my opinion, what dictates, you know, the average level of your tenant, not the fact that they're Section 8 or cash. And, you know, that's my opinion, but hey, I've had thousands of tenants, so I, I think that's a pretty well-informed opinion. So, Joanna, that's my thoughts on this property. I thought it would work for you. Uh, if it does, reply to the private link. Let us know. We'll make the offer on your behalf. If it doesn't, for whatever reason, that's totally cool. We're doing a 10-pack, so you got eight more coming. Let me know why you don't like this particular property. Let me know that, and then what I will do, I'll get back to the drawing board. Give me some time, probably another week or so, and I will get you another video, and I'll make the necessary adjustments if I haven't hit you. And lastly, uh, folks, if you're watching this video, okay, this deal is no longer available. I sent this to Joanna privately probably two months ago. I do not release these videos publicly on Holton Wise TV for all of you to view until the deal is already settled. So, if you'd like to work with me one-on-one -on -one in the same way Joanna is, what you want to do, go to HoltonWines.com, click the Property Search for Sale tab, click on the MLS Search Analysis Show, and you can order packages. You can start with one property. You could buy as many as a 10-pack. Uh, we have three packs, four packs. I think you guys are better off doing the multi-packs because, you know, it takes time to get deals, right? Like if I wanted Joanna to just buy this property from this dude at 80 k I would say, yo, just get one property. I'll sell it to you for what the sellers are asking for, and we'll move on, right? But that's not what we're trying to do here, right? I'm working for you, trying to get you these deals at a good price. I'm trying to hack $20,000 out of this guy's pocket and put it into your pocket. So not all sellers are going to agree to that, at least not at first. So it's a numbers game. we got to put out a lot of offers. we got to look at a lot of properties. That's why I think the multi-packs are the best bet for your money. And then that is all I've got for today. Uh, if you're not ready to buy, you're not ready to invest, you're just here to learn, totally cool, do yourself a solid, and smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Good day, everyone. It's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. 
RentTech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year, you get unlimited free access to our US-based support team by phone, email, and chat who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. US Reeb is a full service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single family and multifamily investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals. U.S. REAP has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REAP is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.